Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, all rise. Uh, on my last PUBG video, PUBG hits PlayStation Store servers when we had artwork leak onto the servers of the PS Store. Well, not leaked. They were posted on there intentionally because, you know, the game's coming out on PS4. Spoiler of this video. I was called a liar. The direct comment says, quote, this is a lie dislike two days after this video and is unofficial, but probably true. Anyway, this YouTuber liar. I will have you know J3R0 gameplay plays i will not stand here and be called a liar because PUBG is officially coming to ps4 what's going on guys it is your boy tk here and today we're going to talk about how PUBG is finally coming to ps4 Now, okay, side note, no hard feelings towards my boy J3RO-Gameplays, no hard feelings to you, but it has been officially confirmed by PlayStation themselves via the PlayStation blog. I think it was actually announced on Monday, but, uh, you know, school and work um, suck in their both of their own rights and, uh, you know, have sucked up a lot of my time, especially with finals coming around. So I uh, definitely expect, uh, you know, if there is some turbulence in video content, apologies on my end. I got to do what I got to do to get this degree. But beside the point on PlayStation blog, they officially posted here that Player Unknown's Battleground is officially coming to PlayStation 4 on December 7th. So they say here that PUBG will launch on December 7th with three iconic maps. Erangel, Miramar, and Sanhok. Okay, that those are weirdest names. Sanhok, I think. Uh, excuse your boy's pronunciation, but uh, those are the maps with the highly anticipated snow theme map coming this winter as well. The game will include all major features like custom matches, ranked system, event mode, trophies, and much, much more. And along with that announcement, they also uh, kind of you know told us the different options that we can go in terms of buying PUBG on the PSO when it comes out on December seventh, and so. So they have four different uh, types of iterations. So of course they have the disc edition, which is just the one that you're gonna have in stores. I'm assuming that'll be thirty dollars. Then we have the looters digital edition, which I think is just the base digital version. Uh, there isn't anything that's noted that is extra or anything like that. So that will be also thirty dollars as well. We have the survivors digital edition as well, which will be sixty dollars. Comes with the base game survival pass, which includes a Vikendi a 2300 G coin pack and 2000 BP. Um, not sure what any of that means, but yeah, you get those for sixty dollars, and then you get the Champions Digital Edition, which is gonna be ninety dollars, and it comes with the base game Survival Pass, which comes with the uh, Vikendi. I think I don't know, like that's like a map or something or what. Six thousand G coin and twenty thousand BP. So pretty cool to see those different skews there. If you're in to uh, G coin, I guess that's uh, the the you know micro currency that they use, kind of like V Bucks with Fortnite. I'm assuming that's the same thing as well. Not sure what BP is, but maybe that's some sort of, I don't know, guys. I've never played PUBG in my life, and I am going to actually buy it for PS4 just to try it out. I'm very curious to see how it runs and everything. Hopefully, it runs a lot better than the Xbox version when they first launched it on uh, last year. Hopefully, it's a little bit better, but uh, I will be getting PUBG just to try it out, you know, just to be in the conversation about it in the loop. However, we did get some PlayStation specific things that we'll be getting with our version of PUBG. And so what's cool here is that when you pre-order the game on PS4, I believe it's digitally and pretty sure when you go in store and pre-order physically like at GameStop or whatever, you will be able to get the Nathan Drake Desert outfit from the Uncharted series, which is really cool. It's his Uncharted 3 uh, type of outfit and stuff like that, which is a good iconic outfit. You know, I personally prefer the Uncharted 4 version, but it's all good. You know, it is what it is. It's my boy Nathan here. And that you will get to uh, have that skin. Uh, uh, looking from Uncharted 3 and I think it's really, really slick. I think it's really cool. I'm definitely going to rock that probably uh, for the for the whole PUBG career I have if I ever play that game for a long series of time. Definitely going to rock just exclusively the Nathan Drake outfit and we also have a backpack here which is Ellie's from The Last of Us. You have Ellie's backpack that you can, I assume, equip and always have on. I know, like, you pick up different backpacks in the world. I think maybe the backpacks that you pick up, they don't change cosmetically. I think they just change to have more inventory in your current backpack. Like, the actual backpack that you wear in PUBG, I think that just stays as it is, and you just get upgrades to the backpack by picking up more backpacks in the environment. Let me know if I'm wrong on that because that's what that's what would make a lot of sense because, uh, you know, if if your backpack changed, wouldn't you want to always have Ellie's backpack if you're going to pre-order and want Ellie's backpack? Like, wouldn't you always want to look like that? I don't know. I hope that's how it goes. Not sure of how that's really how it goes or, like, if you, uh, maybe, like, Ellie's backpack is just your starting backpack and when you drop it, you drop it for good. Like, you don't get to, you know, have Ellie's backpack anymore. You get the other backpack. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. It, it, 
if uh, that's the case, let me know. If I'm wrong, let me know as well. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, interested in that standpoint of PUBG, but definitely like how we have the Nathan Drake skin and Ellie's backpack to rock in PUBG. And also some extra side bits, uh, if you are interested as well when you pre-order, you get a avatar, which is the unknown person, like the main logo that you uh, see with PUBG, and you also get the Miramar theme for your PS4. So pretty cool to have that there. And I want to leave off this video with some comments made by the PUBG team because they are pretty cool. Okay, so first up here we have the PS4 League Project Manager. He says, quote, one of the most memorable moments while developing PS4 PUBG was the first time we had 100 people join a test match. Before the test, the dev team's mission was to deliver the finished product by this year. It was a big challenge and it almost felt impossible. But as soon as we had 100 people drop in for the test, our confidence started to build and we pushed ourselves harder to make everything happen. We are proud of the game we have created and cannot wait to get it in your hands. And then we also had a comment from the PS4 engineering lead that said, it's always exciting and tense presenting our work to the players as a developer. Getting our game into the hands of PS4 community that haven't experienced PUBG is a thrill equal to creating a new game. Everyone on the PS4 dev team have worked passionately on every single moment of the game to create a perfect experience for our players. We hope you all enjoy your journey on getting a chicken dinner. And so you know what, honestly, that could be just PR fluff, that could be just fabricated, you know, words that weren't even said in reality or whatever, but honestly, to me, that just seems very genuine. It seems like they're very excited to bring PUBG to the PS4, and I think a lot of people as well are very happy that PUBG is coming to PS4, because I've seen a lot of people in the comment section of any of our videos that talk about PUBG on PS4, that a lot of people are very hyped and very excited for the prospect of them to play PUBG on PS4. So pretty cool to see that there, man. Just nice to have those comments there to end up the video a little bit of a high note, you know, kind of them uh, really just voicing their opinion at how excited they are to bring PUBG to the PS4 on December 7th. Make sure to pre-order and get that Nathan Drake outfit and that Last of Us Ellie backpack. That's, those, you know, th those are both really cool as well. I would definitely be pre-ordering just because of those two things. Definitely cool to see that there. And that is all I got. So if you all enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like on the video. So stay subscribed to PlayStation Source to keep up with Lay's Grace and PlayStation. Make sure to also check out our description where you can find our Twitter and Instagram to follow us on there. And make sure to also follow our Discord server. We are talking in there. It's very, very fun to have that there. Very cool addition to the channel and everything. So make sure to go join that Discord server if you're into Discord. Thank you for watching. And as always, greatness awaits. Thank you.